Our fifth presenter is Sahil Rastogi from Biomedical Engineering, whose title is Graphene-Based Bioelectronics to Study Human Mini-Brains. The human brain, as we all know, is the computational unit of the body that is made up of specialized cells called neurons. These neurons talk to each other using electrical signals, and the extraordinary symphony in the electrical activity allows us to function, learn, think, etc. Damages in neuronal networks can lead to devastating neurological diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Currently, there are more than 75 million people living with one of these diseases, and the annual costs globally is $700 billion. That's more than 1% global GDP. And the worst news is, these numbers are rising. So we need to ask ourselves why, even after decades of research, the best we have to offer is late diagnosis and no effective treatments. Right now, the standard way to understand these diseases and to screen for therapeutics is using animal models, such as rats and mice. However, these animals do not truly recapitulate the human physiology. Our brain is what makes us humans. And as Alexander Pope said, the proper study of mankind is man. So can we study these diseases using human material? Thankfully, the answer is yes. Recently, there was a breakthrough where scientists were able to form mini brains in a dish using human cells that could mimic complex brain structures. What's next is to develop tools to study these mini brains to understand those diseases. This is where my research comes in. I'm developing graphene-based nanodevices that can record electrical activity from these mini brains at a single cell as well as network level. Graphene is a carbon-based thinnest material on Earth with extraordinary combination of high electrical conductivity, high transparency, and superior flexibility, making it a unique nanomaterial. So how can we use these nanodevices? First, we'll have to generate mini brains using the cells from a diseased patient and a healthy individual. Next, these nanodevices will monitor the electrical activity of these mini brains as they're maturing and developing. This data will provide us with two useful information. One, the time point when these diseases start affecting the neural activity. And second, the exact circuitry that is being affected by these diseases. In addition to that, these devices will provide us with a platform to screen for various drugs to treat different diseases. I truly believe that in not so distant future, this research will enable us to not only understand, but also treat these devastating neurological diseases, bringing hope to the individuals, the families, and the societies they affect. Thank you. Thank you.